What do most professional tennis players do when they have to hit a second serve on the outside? They do a kick serve out wide. Why? Because it's a very safe serve, because you are kicking the ball, okay? The top string makes the ball drop, and it's a pretty safe serve to use as a second serve. And you are going to the other one's backhand and high, which is a very uncomfortable return for most tennis players. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to give you some easy drills that you're going to be able to implement yourself. You don't need a partner, you don't need anything, even if you have never hit a kick serve before. If you play and you use these drills, you will start having some kick on that second serve on the outside. So let's get into those drills. So first of all, let's do a quick review of how the kick serve looks like. Okay, so very important. When you do a kick serve, instead of going through the wall, what you're gonna do is after you drop the racket, you're gonna make sure that you go up and out. Okay, so as you hit, you're gonna try to accelerate the ball on the way up and push the ball up and out before you pronate. And then of course you're gonna pronate and come down. Okay. If you're starting going through the ball, you're gonna start hitting flat or slice. Okay, so the drills that we're gonna do now are gonna help you out so much to get that motion of going up and out. Okay, so for the first drill, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go to the service line. So I'm gonna have Sergey come here with me to the camera. So for the first drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down on the ground and we're gonna hold the racket a little bit higher, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna hold the racket, I'm gonna toss the ball and I'm gonna try to make the ball go over the net, but I have to make sure that I accelerate my racket and I make the ball drop inside of the box. So what happens? If you accelerate your racket and you hit flat, you're gonna either hit to the net or hit out. So this drill is gonna really force you to get that spin if you wanna make the ball inside of the box, okay? So I'm gonna show you right now. Let's see if I can make that happen, okay? So make sure you stay here sideways like I am here. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's close. And I made it. You see, as you can see, I'm already going out. Here, throw the ball behind and get that spin, okay? So do you see? If you find out that you're doing this, of course, the ball is going flat. So you gotta make sure you accelerate. On the way up, get the spin here. Get the spin on the ball. We're gonna do one more time. Here, and get the spin on the ball, okay? Very good. That's the number one drill that we're gonna do. Let's move on to the number two drill. I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm gonna still be on the service box right now, but this time I'm gonna be on my knees, okay? So your height is gonna be a little bit higher. It's gonna be easier to go over the net but you still need the spin to make the ball drop on the service box, okay? So I'm gonna start still back. This time I'm gonna hold the racket from the bottom, okay? Like a normal serve, here. And I'm gonna make sure I get the kick here. That's a bad toss, here. And get the kick here. And get the kick, very good. Go. Very nice. You can see how the ball is bouncing and it's going towards the side, okay? That's what you wanna see. If you see your ball bouncing and going towards your left, that means that you are doing a slice, okay? So that's not what we're looking for. Okay, so now that you started feeling how the spin feels on your racket, and you start getting that feeling, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding the legs, okay? So I wanna still you to start with the racket up here, okay? It's gonna make it way easier. So this we only need to focus on that end, okay? On the fourth row. So I'm gonna stay here, start here, and make sure I get the spin, okay? You can see how the ball is going way over. Oh, you know. You can see how the ball is bouncing and it's kicking towards my right, okay? So again, very good. Let's do it again. Hit it, and then going up and to the right, okay? We're gonna do a couple more. Let's see if I can make the ball go a little bit high over the net this time, let's see. Very good, we're gonna do one more there. Here, very good, okay? So now, if you were able to find the feeling using the legs and being in a more realistic situation, what I want you to do is I want you to do your full serve, okay? We're gonna go with the full motion. But whenever you go to a full motion, if you feel like you are starting to go a little bit flat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the drill before this one, okay? So let's say you got stacked on this one, you were not able to go to get the feeling on the top spin, go back, get on your knees, and go to the service line. Let's go to the last part where I'm gonna do the full serve. Let's see if I can get some kick there. Yeah, that was kick. I just missed the ball a little bit here. That was much better. Very good, that's a good kick. A little more towards the right this time. Okay, let's see if I can make it this time, maybe. Go 
we're going to one more there. Very good. So as you can see, the ball bounces and keeps moving towards the right, okay? So if you are not able to find the kick on this one, okay, it's a little bit harder because you got to do your foot serve. Move back, start focusing a little more on the, on the arm and then move back to this one, okay? Make sure you master every drill. Now, very important, in order for you to get a kick, sir, it's very important to get pace and be able to know how to get racket head speed. 